All right, so next uh, piece to tackle here is the lift link here on the three-point hitch, and that goes between uh, the lift arm and the uh, three-point telescoping arm. And you can see this one has uh, been bent right here, so we got a replacement for that one, which is right there. Uh, so we'll be replacing that. So step one here, we need to knock out the roll pins uh, right up here in the top. We'll knock both of these out and then we'll drive it over and that'll allow us to get out of the uh, um, top here. And then we will uh, stick a punch through the center here and drive that one uh, back the other way. So that is our plan at the moment. So let's go ahead and uh, get started with that. All right, so it's spinning freely in there. I'm just gonna take my hammer and just hopefully we'll stay. All right, there's our bushing. All right, so before I try to pull that out of there, let's go ahead down here on the bottom. And let's pull out our cotter pin. So I'll kind of see how it works. So yeah, I've got to have both out for sure. For sure. So I'm gonna get that one back in there. I'm gonna take my punch back out that direction like I did a second ago. And hopefully that'll loosen up. Here's our second one. All right, let's grab this puppy, work him out of there like that. It's a shame that that's the only thing wrong with it. Everything else looks to be pretty good shape. We'll go ahead and just wipe these down a little bit. My new one or the replacement one, it's not brand new. I'm going to go ahead and grease it up. So when you, when you grease these, it's hard to get all the way through there. If everything's locked up, you can loosen your nut here to allow it to spin. But who's gonna take the time to loosen that up when you're just greasing it? So um, I'm gonna do it on this one, but before this goes in, what I can do, because that whole top is able to spin, is I'll put some grease in there, and I'll just spin this unit, if that ball bearing doesn't spin in there, and it just might. But we'll get it uh, lubed up here, and uh, make sure everything's fine with that, and then we'll get it installed. All right, so that uh, wouldn't allow me to spin in there. So I'm just gonna lube this up a little bit and let it soak down in there like so. And then hopefully we can get that thing to spin in there. All right. That's interesting. Uh, 
put those here. There it went. It's not liking it. So I'm actually gonna just go ahead and replace that while I've got it up here. So we gotta be able to leave it up. So one thing always leads to the next. Let's go ahead and get that pulled off. Seven sixteenths. Might be as simple as cleaning this one out. It may not. <clears throat> I like to just grab an old drill bit. Yeah, that is. I mean, that's just like uh, dirt in there. Try to get you a view here. So there's still some of that down there. There's still a lot of that right there. Worked up. I can run a small drill bit down through that to clean it out, or I can try to force it out now that there's nothing on the back side. So let me just stick it back in the grease gun here. I'm just gonna try to, yeah, see that coming out of there? All right, so that's clear. Just wipe that off. Now, it did blow out some on the outside of that fitting, so I'm just gonna check. I probably got one. If I do, I'm just gonna replace it and put a new one <clears throat> in here, so. Stuff out of the way. Got a whole selection here. Good old Harbor Freight. It's possible that this is the one we need. Let's see here. Yep, got lucky. All right, so that one fits. Go ahead and tighten that up. And let's put our grease back on there. Lots better. We can already see it down here. That's the that's the downside to it is it's, you just cannot get it to go all the way around that. I'm gonna grab this. Try to get it to get down in there. doesn't need much it just needs enough to keep it lubed up there so all right we'll call that good we'll slide back over here to the tractor and I'll get it installed okay so back over here to the tractor I'll go ahead and slide this one back in place here like so I'll grab my bushings probably the trickiest part on this is getting the pinhole lined up I don't know as long as they as long as they move in there it should be pretty good shape
right, so we're just a little bit off there, so I'm gonna line this up. Oops, too far. All right, that looks good. All right, so that one is in place and ready for the pin. So while it's setting, I'm gonna go ahead and put my pin in so that it doesn't get moved. All right, pin is in place. The side, the inside pin. And next, Tap it in. And it is ready as well. Get our roll pin back. All right. Pretty straightforward jobby. All right, cool. Now we'll slide down here to the bottom and get our three-point left arm moved up here. Get it pinned in place. And I'm just gonna glance over here at this other one and see its approximate height. So if we look at it, we got about a full finger length of thread showing. So I need to go down with this. I wanna get, at least get close. Really the best way to do this, I'm gonna go grab my tape measure. I'm gonna line these up exactly. That was the, <clears throat> that was the issue with the other one is when this one got bent in, it raised this arm up a little bit and made the lift height not correct. So I'm just gonna measure from the nut at the top here down to the top of this, which was five and seven eighths. And we were at five, call it 13 sixteenths. I'm gonna we'll make one more revolution. Let's see where we're at. Five and seven eighths, so we're exactly the same position. Go ahead and get this. Back in place, like so. We got our cotter pin. Hopefully, I can get that to. There we go. Place like so. I'm going to hold this other side for that one to spin on me. Done 
last step is to go ahead and get the nut tightened down. So I'm gonna have to grab a couple of branches here. So now that that's lubed up so well, it's wanting to spin. So I'm gonna get me a wrench here and here and then I'll just gonna tighten that down and, and set it in place. And that'll put our lift arms at the same height. All right, that's gonna conclude this video. Thanks for watching, hit like, subscribe, share it, and we will see you next time.